on the script here, it simply says, voice of God. You've heard the voice of God. You want to see the face of God now. To present the Lifetime Achievement Award for political literature, look at the screen and listen as the Mayor of London tells us who's won this. Hi, folks. I'm Boris Johnson. I'm very sorry I can't be with you tonight, but I am honoured to be able to introduce the winner of the Lifetime Achievement Award for political literature. And our winner tonight made his name, I suppose, in the 1990s when he had the stewardship of conservative central office, became known as the baby-faced assassin of Westminster. He wrote a famous novel in which the central character was so Machiavellian and scheming that John Major said he had done for politics what Dracula did for babysitting. Slightly confused. I thought it was Herod who, who did in babysitting. Never mind. He then went on, of course, to see his work imitated around the globe. And above all, recently he has seen that fine novel of his made into a gigantic American TV serial. So joining the list of great British exports to the United States. My question to you tonight, folks, is, is Michael Dobbs one of the greatest political writers of the 20th and 21st centuries? You might think that. I could not possibly comment. Michael, many congratulations on your award and have a fantastic evening. Ladies and gentlemen, Lifetime Achievement Award winner, Lord Michael Dobbs. Can we please salute? Last year, you know, the winner of this award, he'd been frantic to get out of the House of Lords. As I recall, you were quite keen to get in. You've achieved that and so much else besides. Can we please salute for the hours of pleasure you've given us and for your particular... It's wonderful to be a writer and a politician and a truly nice guy. It's fantastic. Can we salute Michael Dobbs? Ah. Uh. The term gobsmacked comes immediately to mind. Uh, I, I had absolutely no idea. Uh, it's, it's been a long journey. I, I used to, I started off earning a living by writing advertisements, Saatchi and Saatchi. Then I went to earning a living by writing political manifestos. Uh, but now I've changed completely and I simply write works of fiction. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry my wife can't be here. She's actually got a bad back. It would have been a huge, huge thrill for her. I will go home and take this with great pride back home and I will have the crap kicked out of me by four boys who will refuse to take it seriously. Um, but I want to say thank you. Thank you to all of you. But most of all, to add my thanks to those people who make this evening so very wonderful. Paddy Power, they, those wonderful sponsors. Um, and of course, Ian Dale, uh, who None of this would have been possible without that man, and who, if he doesn't pick this up next year, then it will be a crying shame. So thank you, Ian, and thank you, all of you. It's been a, it's been a humbling experience, and I shall go away and enjoy a, a glass or three of Lord Ashcroft's fine champagne. Thank you. Well done. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. More drinks are served. Thank you so much. See you next year. Good night.